Imagine being raised in a small, homogenous town. After graduating from a university, you get a job in a big city. You think it would be great to be able to walk to your office, so you find a nearby apartment and you ask your soon-to-be co-workers for their advice on moving there. They tell you it's not a good neighborhood, and you know what that means. So you move to the area they recommend, which requires a longer commute to the office, but at least it's a safer place to live. Imagine for a moment that there weren't bad neighborhoods in your cities, that you could move to an area without fear, that your cities weren't divided into groups of people with little in common with each other. Imagine that no matter where you moved in your country, the people there shared your language, your heritage, your cultural values, and traditions. The truth is, your country was like that once. Your cities were like that once. But your leaders became weak. They lost sight of what was important. They changed your laws in the name of progress, which instead led to regress. The current reality in which we live does not have to be forever. Change is inevitable once the will of the people is strong enough to resist the status quo. Look at Hungary. Occupied by the Ottoman Empire for 16 decades, occupied by the Soviet Union for four decades, and now, independent, having an ethnic Hungarian supermajority. It is time that you become a resistor, and to become a recruiter of more resistors, until the network is too big to suppress and society shifts to a new paradigm.